We have Wendy's. That one's a filthy window. They're covered in dust, these ones. But um, they're in. So, they're big, but looking a little bit better. Hey guys, follow my journey as I drag my beautiful old cat kicking and screaming into the 21st century. Uh, a lot of the jobs I'm doing, completely first time, I'm a complete novice, learning as I go, and hopefully some of you guys can learn from some of my mistakes. Some of it's worked really well, and some of it is absolute sheer craziness, but somehow I've still managed to put it off. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe button if you'd like to uh, follow my progress. Morning guys, it's after the weekend. Uh, had a great weekend with the kids. Now back to the uh, back to the grindstone. Get on with these uh, windows. This has been covered up for the weekend. And not very waterproof tarpaulin. And there doesn't seem to be much water ingress. A small puddle over here. It's a small, it's quite large actually. But I've got my little syringe here, so I'll suck that uh, excess water out in a minute. Let's chuck it out and then have a look. Okay, for those that have watched Fox and Aid from the start, um, if you haven't, then go out to start and watch it, because it's worth watching. One of the main problems with the boat was the uh, the front anchor locker leaking, and it sort of the, the drain hole for the locker going down out the boat was just sort of disconnected, and it leaked everywhere, so it trashed all the bulkheads, all the framework in there, everything. Um, so it's all working fine. I'll come back a minute ago to come back to the boat. And I noticed there's a, a bit of a swell coming out of the locker. So it's obviously my, my repair has worked because it is full of water. I've got a little water feature, look. What I'm guessing is, is where I've been doing a lot of glass work, a lot of grinding, a lot of everything, the drain hole's blocked up. So we'll just... something smaller. Oh, there you go. And it should drain now. Oh, look at that. Straight into my tender. Beautiful. <laughs> the drain out of the The tender's got to come out, ready for the crane out. Oh, I didn't think about that. I must push that tender back a little bit. So the drain doesn't drain straight into that. Oh, well. Every day's a school date. That's draining now. Okay, let's get this tarp off and uh, get on with the windows. Hey guys, very quick direction change. Um, Kate's at home, she didn't go to school today. Not feeling very well, so I'm gonna go and check, make sure she's Okay, so on that, so I'm going around at Bogner and all my fiberglass and supplies and my workbench and all that is there. Uh, I've just quickly measured out my templates to knock up my my top shelves that I'm going to put in here. So they're putting where I put these little dashes here, um, and they're going to run through pretty much onto there. So I'm going to make one big sort of long through shelf for I don't know things that are long and a shorter one here. Um, so on the back here, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to put there. I'm probably going to bring it up so it's not a trip hazard to fall and break your neck in here. Uh, but I'm not 100% decided. I'll build the sofa thing first and then work out what happens with tables and chairs and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'll dive, I divulge again. So I've got my shelves made up there. Again, out my, my good old uh, black plastic. That's my templates done, and three of them. This one, I'm going to leave the long shelf. I'll leave that just a nice big opening for, I don't know, a rather large bottle of gin or something like that you need on a boat. But yeah, so I'm going to go and do that now. Um, and when I come back, probably a couple of degrees warm as well, so I'll wear a big stupid jumper. I'll be able to get out and uh, start looking at these bloody windows. But fingers crossed, I'll get in it later. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, just got back. Uh, it's now November, it's just the first of November today, so when you, when you get this, it'll probably be like a week or so out. Um, so, 
Shelves are just done. I just went home and done them. Got them measured up to go in here. I just I went and bought myself a new hot glue gun. So I'm waiting for it to warm up to stick some blocks on to start getting that whacked in. But da, 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 da. we have windies. Um, they're in. They're sort of first fix, I like to call it. Um, and then once I've messed around getting these blocks stuck in and shaved these down and got them epoxied in place, I'm then going to jump up, do the sort of five millimeter around masking and do that sort of second fix of Seeker. Uh, and also do the second fix on these of Seeker because I still haven't done that. Um, and then I'm going to take all the outer skims off and there'll be, uh, be like daylight in here. Woohoo! But um, I'll tune back in when I get to there. Uh, so I've got a bit, bit of progress to do down and getting them shelves in. Um, but once I've done that, done my second fix, I'll, uh, I'll tune back in and show you how she looks. Charles. Hey guys, starting closing now. Obviously winter, into proper winter time. Um, but them shelves are just filleted in, just the top halves. Once that's gone off, the bottom blocks get knocked out. I would get the cords onto this sheet, the exact heights of how I want to roll with it all. I'll get it marked out, take it back to Bogner and do my my woodworking magic in my surrounds and sort of get that put to bed-ish. I still need to get this countertop fixed on. Um, so I'm not still there. But, Pierre de Resistance. Da -da 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 -da. We have Windies. That one's a filthy window. Covered in dust, these ones. But um, they're in. Not too shabby. I still want to put nice clear ones in the back here. Show, I'll show the outside. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm sorry to get all the old tarpaulins off the top there. But uh, as a side, I've made a mess a few places, but I'll clean it up as a later pum. I found out it's actually quite easy to clean off once it's easy to clean off once it's dry. That's the, uh, the front windows. They're actually, as I kind of anticipated, they're a little bit too big. I think they look too big, but I wanted the, the correct size apertures. I didn't want little squitty windows to look through when I was when I was um, on the helm. So they look big, but up with that. It is a DIY homemade jobby. So yeah, I'd say they're big, but looking a little bit better. So we'll get them last four windows done in the back there. And she'll be all uh, privacyed up. But I'll leave it out guys, I'm going to get on now, uh, I'm going to sand down the outside of the galley, get that sanded down and try and get that in primer tonight. Uh, if I do, I'll tune back in and I'll show you the progress. Cheers. Hey guys, uh, the first coat on glass never looks great, it's just a little mist coat really. But I've just got the uh, that side of the galley just painted up. The only bit that's just holding me back now is them bloody windows. So I need to get them windows sorted out so I can grind that back. But otherwise, well, in there needs a bit of sorting out, but... And that's this side nice, it's just... <sighs> so, big push now. We will get them windows sorted out. I was going to wait till next summer because uh, of the weather, etc. Um, I might try and do it before Christmas. We'll see. We'll see. It's a real shame just to have that bit sat there now when it's everything's starting to turn nice and white. Um, there's a few bits and pieces where I need to do some filling just on the join down there to make that smooth. You can see there's a few imperfections in there. Uh, and there's a couple little high spots where I've left epoxy on that is grinding or sanding down. Uh, so I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, get that done, do my little imperfections. Second coat on and then 2k polyurethane and then I can start sort of and then get my little, little robin strip on robin strip and the shit fall off strip and that side's good to go and this side touch wood won't be too far behind it well got a bit of work to do to get this to get this looking like that 
But I'm not scared, I've got time. You probably can't see me because it's dark. Um, I'm going to disappear now, I'm going to have a shower, have some dinner and all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see you in the morning. Cheers guys.